went to the botanical gardens. I'm so sorry the bus failed and we weren't allowed to go on this trip. But I came for you. Maybe we'll be able to come in the future. Now, I brought two things with me. My sunglasses because the sun we know can hurt our eyes. And what do plants need to grow? The sun. So there's lots of sun here. Also, I brought my ruler. Now this doesn't look like one of the usual rulers we use in class. This is only six inches long. It stops halfway through one foot. So today we're gonna practice using the six inch ruler and we're gonna find all kinds of different plants to measure how far apart they grow in this professional garden. And we'll compare that to the garden we have at school. Ready to have a good time? Let's do it. Well kids, if you were here today, here's some of the neat plants we'd see. Here's a lion's tail or lion's ear. Its Latin name is Leonotes Leonoris. Here's a Dratropha. This is a purple, blue, it's very nice. This one's in bloom. This one is red. Let's see what this one's called. If I want to know what it's called, I'm going to go over here and look for the tag. This one's really cool. It's called Pink Trumpet Vine. This one goes all the way up the tree, around all the way over to here. So this is one of the cool little gardens called the Cracker Garden. Here's the pink trumpet all the way over here. Very beautiful place here. I wish you could have come. This is one of the other gardens they have. It's called a topiary garden. That means that they shaped all these awesome hedges or bushes into whatever they wanted. In this case, it's more of a love theme. So it's hearts, it's spirals, ribbons, cupid, and pink flowers. Where there's love, there is life. A quote from Gandhi. That means he said it. There's some other kids exploring our garden. This is the whole view. This is where we just came from. There's other people here experiencing this too, kids. It's a big square garden. These are made with mosaic. Little pieces of different kinds of glass. This is a koi pond. So it looks like there's a pond all the way around. Say bye to the topiary garden. Let's go into the big open gardens. This is the rose garden. Everything in this garden is made with roses. Here's a red rose. Way up high. Here's a pink rose. We remember looking at roses. Are roses good to just run up and touch? No. Why not? Because they have thorns on their stem. Here are some of the nasty thorns that can get into your thumb and hurt you. This is an Alex's Red Hybrid Tea Rose, which means when it's a hybrid, it's mixed with another kind of flower. Here's China Dolls. Tiny flowers. These are tiny little roses. These are 4th of July climbing roses. They cl climbed all the way up this whole circle and grew around it. 
I like these kids. These are some light pink roses. They're pretty. Look at this. Three different colors. How cool is that? All these beautiful flowers. What a nice place, kids. Now we're starting the tropical walk. This is kind of like the key leg legend we've been seeing on our map. Plant symbol legend, fern, annual or perennial flowers, meaning they come back every year or not, ground cover, a vining plant, which are the ones that we saw climbing, shrub, that's a small tree, a palm tree, a normal tree, and a Florida native plant, which means it was, it was first discovered here in Florida. Bamboo. This is bamboo native to China. This is what panda bears eat. You've seen it before, but this is it wildly growing in Florida. This is called a light bulb clerodendrum. That symbol on it in the corner means it's a shrub. This is a palm tree. Those are tropical because they're in the warm climate. This is ground cover. This just grows along the ground and you can see that from the symbol. Uh, no. Right now we're walking up to the vinery. These are all plants that grow up and they climb up a structure and then they grow all the way to the top just like these. Let's see what kind these are. Let's check the tag. This is called Alamanda Vine. It goes all the way up to the top and it has a picture of a butterfly, meaning that butterflies like this plant. Yellow flowers. There's another one that hangs down after it goes up. These are very beautiful. You can see the stamen and everything. So the, close, the closest way to find the distance between two plants is to, as we learned, draw a straight line. So I drew a straight line in between this plant and this plant to see how far this garden plants their plants apart, just like we did in, our, in school. So this is a six inch long ruler. How many inches are in a foot? That's right, 12. So here's six. Now we're going to flip it over for six more, just like doubles in math. That's 12. We're skip counting. 18, 24, and just a little bit more. Maybe like 25. That's just two feet. So they plant their plants two feet apart. We're going to go check some others. Okay, remember that the shortest distance between two objects is a straight line. So I'm going to draw my straight line as straight as I can because when we're experimenting, we're just doing our best job to get the closest answer. So, again with my six inch long ruler, that's how many of these to make a foot? That's right, two. Okay, so we're going to start here. This is the base of the plant, right? This is where the plant's roots are. So we're going to go six and we're going to do doubles. Twelve. That's one foot, six, one foot and six inches, and two feet. So this one's just two feet exactly apart. It seems that's a pattern, is that they plant all their plants two feet apart. These are plants that grow in the water. We know that most plants that we've studied need water to grow. Everything needs water to grow. These actually grow right in the water, so they can never have enough water. Here's another example of a way we could use to measure things. We might need to know how far apart these holiday lights are. So here's one here, and here's one here. Let's see how far apart they are. We're going to put our ruler where it starts, right here right there 
let's see, and right there, looks like it's four inches. So these holiday lights are four inches apart. <laughs> Here are some English language learners at the park today. Oh, Say, I'm at the Botanical Marta. Gardens. Garden. Botanical Gardens. Yes. Yes. El hecho es allá es rama. Palm tree. Plant. Rama. The fern. Rama. Planta. The fern. Planta. Planta. Y el hecho es que estamos aquí. We We're are doing. la like misma palabra something. con El dos hecho. utilizaciones. Dos significados. El means the. The. El hecho. The do the work done. It. The did it. The homework. Say I. Dígale algo. I. Okay. I want. Want to learn. To learn English. 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 Yeah. Yeah.